Hello YouTube, hello people. Uh, I have a little bit of problems here. Uh, I bought an AS32 controller for hexacopter. Actually, previously it is planned to build um, a quadcopter, but somebody gifted me a hexacopter frame and I have this controller. And what is the problem? I uh, found that uh, there is no uh, power module for an AS32. I don't know why. I try to find, but everything is uh, or by completely uh, distribution board for another quadcopter or something, but not for this particular hexacopter. I cannot find anything. But what I found is for uh, this board, this uh, module for something else for APM and uh, Ardu Pilot Mega, probably for. Um, Pixhawk 2. Uh, asked seller about this whether it can work on NAS32. He said no, but anyway, I bought it uh, on my own risk. And what I found interesting <laughs> that it is actually just connector problematic, everything else is uh, fine. Uh, first of all, uh, two wires uh, from above plus 5 volt and another plus 5 volt for. Uh, receiver for um, the speed controller and everything else. A uh, third wire exactly what bothers me. This is current measurement. Uh, this is uh, output or in voltage. Uh, so when uh, power driving one ampere, it shows 0.1 volt. Uh, 10 amperes, one volt, and so on. Fourth wire it is not of use for NAS32 because it has uh, inside already. Voltage voltage divider, one by ten, and uh, in NAS thirty two is additional voltage divider. Instead, this wire, just put one wire to uh, power board, to power distribution board, to plus, and this this is it. And last two wires are ground. So let me repeat, uh, from above, top down, red plus five plus five. Current uh, measurement, voltage measurement, and two ground wires. So it is connected like so. Uh, focus camera, thank you. Uh, what I did, uh, I removed this connector, no needed, and soldered directly to the board. Also, I removed uh, this connector, which was for APM, probably Pixhawk, I'm not sure and uh, now it works pretty well so let me show you how it works and uh, if you try to uh, measure current or voltage something with this setup be sure that uh, it doesn't go away let me start clean flight uh, let me see if it's working okay so beneath propeller put something and uh, use propeller so that it's reverse, so that uh, pushes air upward and pushes frame downward. Uh, let me test. Armed. Okay. Now zoom into current and voltage measurement, and let's try again motor run. So, this is it. This is solution for all my problems. So now, what I bought for from Fisher Hobby is OSD, so that I can uh, receive on my uh, uh, screen uh, how much current it draws and uh, everything which is connected with this, uh, how much milliampere hours is spent, uh, so that I can know uh, how much battery remains. 
Uh, I bought also camera, not Mobius, but uh, this camera for for FPV. I mounted together because I wanted to record from above, uh, from the same direction. Uh, just missed gimbal. I will buy this later. Uh, what I bought uh, from him is a 600 milliwatts uh, milliwatts uh, transmitter, 5.8 gigahertz uh, to replace my old uh, 200 milliwatts transmitter. Antennas are pretty good, professional looking and working very well. I tested it had range even with uh, 200 milliwatts, but uh, once I fly it uh, with another uh, quadcopter and had problem with trees, uh, leaves are uh, water based, so it is um, a suppressing signal. So that's it people uh, about this product. Uh, Fish Hobby is excellent seller, I uh, have no any issue with him, uh, everything is fast delivered uh, within 10 days, uh, maximum 15 days, but uh, I asked somebody from customs, uh, uh, they say that it has uh, plenty of job and uh, people were on, on uh, holidays, summer holidays. So Fisher Hobby is uh, pretty good seller. Uh, this product uh, product cost about six dollars five ninety nine. So for six dollars, I solved all my problems with current measurement, knowing how much current I spent. So choose uh, Fisher Hobby, uh, and you will be not disappointed. I can guarantee you. Okay, that's all. Uh, Please like, subscribe, so that other people know about this news. Uh, it is a big, big puzzle what is uh, inside this connector because it's all black and just one red wire. I'm investigating with scope and everything else and found this result. Uh, subscribe, uh, comment this video and that's it. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.